My best friend for 10 plus years ended our friendship and I can't blame her. I, 40M, have been friends with let's call her Lisa, 41F. For over 10 years now, we have been practically inseparable. We have a lot in common. Painting, toy collecting, movies, TV shows, our goofy personalities even are in sync. Her daughter refers to me as her uncle. When I had my own business before the pandemic, I brought her on as an employee, and she was amazing at it. And during our lowest points of our lives, we were there for each other. There was never anything romantic, sexual between us. For one, I was never her type to begin with. On top of that, all the bad relationships she had in the past has made her not want to be with anyone even for one night. As for me, I saw her as a sister more than anything, and it would awkward, uncomfortable. We did birthdays, holidays, even Christmas. I'm Muslim, BTW. Shopping and just hang out at my house watching movies, TV for long hours. Things became tough when I married to Let's Call Her Hillary, 36F. She is the same nationality as me. I was born in America and she was born and grew in her home country. We have been married for four years, but due to the pandemic, she wasn't able to immigrate to the US for two years. It was an arranged marriage. By that time, I sold off my company and moved about an hour away from my old place and 40 minutes away from Lisa. By that time, Lisa got a new job. Before Hillary arrived, my mother, who has been a sort liaison for my wife and I, due to the fact she has grew up with her culture and with me and the American lifestyle, told my wife about Lisa in a positive way because for Hillary, she grew up thinking that men and women cannot be more than just friends. At first, Hillary and Lisa were getting along quite well. Not best friends, but trying to get to know each other. We went out to museums together, had Lisa over to our house where she fell in love with Hillary's cooking, and Hillary even did Christmas at Lisa's house. Hillary doesn't feel comfortable doing Christmas since it is a Christian holiday and we are both Muslim. I always did my best to make sure Hillary never felt excluded since her and I don't have too many common interests unlike Lisa and I. I wouldn't say I was great at it, but I really tried my best. I wanted Lisa and Hillary to become fast friends and see Lisa as a member of the family like I did. Hell, even before I met Hillary, I always imagined my future children looking at Lisa as an aunt in the future. Soon after, Hillary became pregnant and gave birth to a beautiful boy. That's when things started to go downhill. The first incident was about a two, three months after our son was born. Lisa was going to come and visit. Normally, she comes by at two, but that day she came at twelve. This really irritated Hillary, and she refused to leave the bedroom with the baby. On top of that, Lisa stayed for longer than Hillary wanted. For context, this isn't something abnormal for Lisa and me, before Hillary. Lisa and I would hang out almost a whole day watching movies and catching up with everything going on with our lives. Afterwards, I was given the silent treatment for a week till my mother had to come over and to mediate where I had to agree that Lisa would not be coming over for about a year. I still made time to hang out with Lisa, but I had to do it behind my wife's back. Stupid, I know, but it came to a point where mentioning Lisa's name would trigger my wife. However, she did agree to do Christmas again, but it even though it was a nice time, Hillary was not happy afterwards. She was upset that Lisa didn't properly greet her right away when she came over, because Lisa was focused on the baby. But what really upset her was that among the many snacks and meals they made, one dish contained pork which Lisa made us aware of before we started to eat. For me, growing with American friends, it was common that they would some dishes with pork that I wouldn't eat. But to Hillary, it was extremely disrespectful to serve a pork dish with Muslim guests. Even if there are other options available, my mother also agreed with that. By March, things were very tense between Hillary and I. She found out about me hanging out with Lisa behind her back, as well as lying to her about eating unhealthy foods when I was on a diet. I have high cholesterol and keeping a distance from her more and more, till finally I broke down and told all her all of what I've been feeling. That I don't feel any love coming from her. It woke her up a lot. Realizing how I felt, she made more of an effort to be a better partner as well as I, and we had been in a better place. Our son's first birthday was coming up, and Hillary wanted to do this big, extravagant celebration. Hillary even asked me to invite Lisa for it, which I was really happy about. Party went fine, although and I did my best to make sure that the time I spent catching up with Lisa without giving the perception that there was more going on. 
Towards the end of the party, Lisa was getting ready to go but asked if my son would open up her gift so she can send pics and video to her daughter who moved out of state. I grabbed Hillary and we opened up the gifts no problem, or so I thought. Days after the party, Hillary was acting real cold towards me. I had been racking my brain trying to figure out what was going on, but in the back of my head, I just knew it had to do something with Lisa. After almost a week, she finally admitted to me that it looked like to her that asking my her to come and join us to open the gift was a last minute thought on my part and that I was going to do it without her. I told Hillary that was never my intention. The amount of hell I would get for doing such an act would be insane. Doing something like that would not only be disrespectful, but just plain stupid. Of course, I was going to ask her if we could open her gift real quick together. After multiple attempts to convince her, she believed me and we have been good since. August rolls around and I asked Hillary if I could invite Lisa over to hang out, which Hillary was okay with just as long as she doesn't stay way too long. I asked Lisa, but she was going on a trip at that time, but I couldn't help but notice it was a cold response. The following month was my birthday and Lisa mails me a bunch of gifts. I call her a couple days later to thank her, and that's when she dropped the bomb on me. Lisa says that I have a family now and she understands that they have to be my priority, and she knows that Hillary is uncomfortable with her being around me. She tells me that we don't talk as much anymore, and when we do, it's always when I'm driving home by myself, how I've been sneaking off to hang out with her, and she doesn't want to feel like us being friends is going to be something we have to keep a secret. She didn't say she is ending our friendship exactly, but for her mental health and for my family. It's best if we stop talking and hanging out now. I'm not going to lie. I'm very hurt by this. But at the same time, a bit of relief came over me in the sense that the reason a lot of Hillary and I's fights happen will no longer be a factor. I told Hillary this and she acted shocked. I think in her head she believed that whatever she felt towards Lisa... She was able to keep it well hidden, which obviously wasn't. I didn't have the energy to explain how her actions and behavior are the reasons why my best friend is longer in my life. I'm pretty heartbroken about this, someone who I have known for over a decade now. A person who I thought my kids would call Auntie Lisa when they learn to talk, who gets excited about the same things I do and talk to for hours is no longer in my life. My wife does try and we do enjoy doing things together, but she doesn't have the same excitement that Lisa does, and Hillary isn't into everything that I'm into. She won't see how cool seeing a Transformer that can turn into Sega Genesis is. I'm going to miss my friend.